I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. You know, the last couple videos I've put out, I've talked about weight loss, how to effectively do it without making major sacrifices. That prompted two questions. Steve, how do I continue to lose weight without slowing down my metabolism? How do I continue to lose weight without continuing to eat less? Because eventually I can only eat so little and I can't eat any less than that. What do I do? Well, these are two good questions. The first one about your metabolism slowing down. First of all, your metabolism ain't running that fast to begin with. It doesn't. I hate to tell you that. You know, people who are in tremendous cardiovascular shape, meaning marathoners or triathletes, their bodies utilize oxygen very well. So their bodies don't burn more calories, they just burn a greater percentage of fat calories. And as a matter of fact, when somebody's in great shape, when they're sitting around not doing much, like we normally do throughout the day, their metabolism is slowed, right? Haven't we all heard that as you get in better shape, your heart beats less, you get fewer beats per minute, they may be stronger beats and they may pump more blood, but your metabolism slows down to rest because you're in better shape. So we want our metabolism to slow down. And with a 300 calorie deficit, your metabolism is not going to slow down that much, if at all, in the beginning. As you begin to lose more and more weight and your body fat levels drop, your metabolism might slow a little bit. But if everybody's metabolism slowed instantly, then nobody on the planet would lose weight. And as you begin to lose weight and lose more body fat, we expect you to then begin to exercise because that leads into my second answer about I can't continue to eat less and less. That's right. Eventually, you'll sort of hit a point where you can't eat any less. And then what do you have to do? Oh, God forbid, you're going to have to exercise. That'll do two things. It'll help improve your body's utilization of calories by improving your body's utilization of oxygen, and it'll also change your body's composition. Because we don't want to be that skinny fat guy or that skinny fat girl that everybody says, is that, that person's so skinny, but they're kind of out of shape. That person's skinny, but they kind of have a gut. They're skinny, but their body's kind of soft and mushy. We don't want to be that guy. So the point is, is that don't worry about your metabolism slowing down. It ain't going to happen. Trust me, it's not running that fast to begin with. And as you begin to eat less and less, you're going to get to the point where you say, I can't eat any less than this because I begin to lose muscle mass, and that's a whole other video, or I begin to crave food too much. And at that point, you might say, man, I need to probably pick up my eating a little bit or change my calorie composition a little bit. Because if you're craving a certain type of food, that might mean you are not taking in enough calories or your composition of fat to proteins to carbohydrates might not be right for your activity levels. So those are some simple answers about metabolism slowing down and what, I do, what can I do when I can't eat any more or eat any less. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.